Now, he roamed the icy world of Westeros. You may have seen him recently in Marvel's Eternals. Now he's returning to the West End to play Henry V. Good morning, Kit Harrington. Morning, Zoe. How are you? I'm great, thank you, darling. I'm very excited for you on this project. First of all, I must ask, how is Dad life? Do you know what? It's amazing. He's a darling little boy. He's just turned one which is kind of this magical age. I keep getting all teary about it, so I'll try not to cry now, but it's, he's, he's amazing. I'm loving it. It's, you know what, it's, as anyone who's a parent will know, I mean, you sacrifice any free time that you have, but for the most wonderful thing in the world. Uh, can I tell you, Kit, that emotion never changes. My boy's now 21, and I, wow. I can still be reduced to teary, teary eyes when I think of him. I mean, yeah. I, I worry sick about him. That never changes either as well. Uh, yeah. But it is the best job in the world. It really, really is. Um, now, we know you were doing lots of interviews for Eternals. Uh, what a cast on Eternals. Mm. Angelina Jolie. She's quite a force of nature, isn't she? She's amazing. Like, talk about a parent. She travels with her six children they came on the tour and i was just sort of bowled away like i've been amazed while parenting them. just you know quite how kind of demanding it can be and she's got six children and she's just the most amazing mother it's just nice when you you get very nervous when you meet someone like her kind of and then it sort of relaxes and you just and i ended up having a really lovely time with it it was great the slight gear change now as we go from marvel to Shakespeare, you're about to play Henry V at the Don Mar Warehouse in London, played famously by Laurence Olivier, Kenneth Branagh. This is very exciting, Kit. Yeah, you mentioned Ken Branagh. My wife Rose just, well, they did a film together a little while ago and she had this cast dinner with them last night and she mentioned to him that I was playing Henry V and that blows my mind because I grew up on Ken Branagh's Henry V he directed it, the film, when he was 26. And for that reason, he's a kind of hero of mine as well. So it's a bit of a dream. Like, it's the role that I, I've always been quite interested in playing. It's a fantastic uh, Shakespearean role. He's, he's an enigma and a fascinating character. And, you know, the play is a really kind of in-depth look at leadership and war. And you might hear that and think, oh, that's going to be a pretty serious play that's not a barrel of laughs but there's a fantastic kind of b story that runs through it with some brilliant actors that provides a lot of fun so it's quite it's an all-rounder it's it's great we had ben wishaw on the show on monday <sighs> um i know he's i know your reaction there says it all he's a huge sort of influence on you wasn't it seeing ben in shakespeare that made you want to act yeah he did a hamlet uh, many years ago now at the old vic I guess that might have been like the very genesis or start of me wanting to do this. It was the first Shakespeare I remember seeing that really kind of really stuck with me and made me want to go to drama school. It made me want to act. It, I guess, planted the seed of wanting to do what he was doing on stage. Like he is just one of the most wonderful actors out there. And I've met him twice, so in both times I was tongue tied, didn't know what to say. Embarrass myself hugely. <laughs> It's it never meet your heroes. It's just not never. a good idea because all those dreams you have of these are the things I would say, and then when you're face to face, you just bumble through. Um, yeah, <laughs> he is wonderful. You've got to watch. This is going to hurt. He's he's excellent in it. Kit Harrington is with us. He is about to star as Henry V at the Dolmar Warehouse in London from the 22nd of February until the 9th of April. You mentioned when you were talking, Kit, about your wife Rose. Rose Leslie, who you met on Game of Thrones, and it was her birthday this week. Did you spoil her rotten? We're in tech this week, so I'm not even, I'm practically not going to see her. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I know. I know, we've really failed on each, each other's birthdays this year. But we've got a baby, so it's all about the baby now. That's, <laughs> it's the perfect excuse, and this is what tends to happen. The kids come first, and everyone else takes a backseat. Yeah. You mentioned, though, that she was having a dinner uh, with a cast, probably of Death on the Nile. I mm. am such a massive Agatha Christie fan. I'm slightly obsessed. We have all waited so long to see this film. Kenneth Branagh's directed. He's starring as Hercule Poirot, and Rose is in it. Have Does this mean you've seen it? Do you know, I haven't seen it yet. She's not seen it. She's going to see it, I think, this weekend. And again, Zoe, like bad husband, I'm busy, so I can't see, I can't see it.
<laughs> so, yeah, I'll see it at some point. Sounds great. I mean, what a cast. I know. It's an amazing cast. French and Saunders, Gal Gadot. It's going to be epic. Well, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure, when you finally do get to see it as well. Uh, playing Henry V, are there more Shakespeare characters that you sort of got your eye on for further down the line? Do you know what? That's a pretty good question, because I this is the only Shakespeare character I've had an eye on, really. And now I'm doing it. So what would the next one be? I, oof, I think Macbeth would be fun. I never really fancied Hamlet, but I think Macbeth would be fun. There we go. Right, the seed yeah. is planted. I'm sure there's many people who've thought about this as well. The great thing here as well, the production will be in cinemas, the brilliant National Theatre Live. So this is wonderful for people who perhaps can't get down to London, to the Donmar. Uh, we'll be able to see this on the big screen as well. Yeah, it's brilliant that. I can't remember how long NT Live has been going, but... I think as long as I've been acting, you know, I think I did War Horse and there was an NT Live version of that. You know, theatre, unfortunately, even though there's lots of theatre around the country, good theatre, but a lot of it can tend to be London-centric and what NT Live does means that it can get out of the city to around the country and around the world, in fact. I'm a big supporter of it. I think it's a great thing. Excellent. I will have to ask you, because the fans are asking, uh, what's the future of Dane Whitman, a.k.a. Black Knight? Any more happening things in diary planned? No, not that I know of. Uh, it sounds like a very political answer. But, <laughs> I mean, it's exciting for me because the last film, as anyone who will have seen it, kind of sets an idea up that I might go further. So I'm hoping... But I think whenever you're answering questions about these things, people like point at you and say liar as if you know more than other people. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I genuinely don't. I'm waiting for a call on it at some point, hopefully. I was watching Kit's face there and I, I believed him. But then again, he is an actor. So, yeah. <laughs> what do we know? Um, we also hear, Kit, you are amazing at table tennis. Do you have your own table and do you use it as a party trick? Yes, I've got my own table tennis table. No, I'm not quite sure what party trick I would use <laughs> upon said table. But, yeah, I'm a mean ping-ponger. <laughs> I love that about you. We used to play a game where everyone had to have a drink and you just there'd be like 20 people going around the table and you all had, just had to yeah. hit going around, the, you know, until somebody was dizzy and fell over. Oh, they were wild <laughs> days, the 90s, Kit, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Kit, always wonderful to catch up with you. Happy birthday to Rose for this week. Uh, Kit is in Henry V at the Donmar Warehouse from the 22nd of February until the 9th of April and you can watch in select cinemas across the UK on the 21st of April so put that date in your diaries uh, Kit, always wonderful to talk to you take care, good luck with it Thank you Zoe